So there's been a lot of talk of the new AMD Zen CPUs coming soon, but what is so special about them and how will they impact the CPU market? As of yet, very little is known about the Zen series, but I will try my best to let you know when more news has spread out about it. First of all, let's explain what AMD's primary goal was. Previously, the AMD FX series was targeted at budget PC builders, the FX6300 and upwards being aimed at the gaming market. These CPUs generally have more cores, higher clock speeds, but lesser instructions per cycle and weaker single core performance. This meant that the competition between AMD and Intel previously was basically abysmal. This time round, AMD are planning on changing that around entirely, marketing their upcoming Zen CPUs to supposedly be serious competitors to Intel's high-end CPUs. Not only will they have a higher IPC and much beastlier single-core performance, but according to AMD, they will have more cores than the AMD FX series did, and the majority of Intel's high-end CPUs. It is said that it will be twice the performance of the AMD FX 8350, and it will be a serious competitor to the i7-5960X. Now these are really bold statements by AMD, let's hope they follow through on their statements. Now these are big bits of news for the CPU market, as Intel had basically no real competitors for their high-end CPUs for the last decade, but it seems that AMD are finally catching up and maybe even overtaking Intel. They are expected to launch in October this year, but there are rumours it may not launch until 2017. This is supposedly due to a weak market demand. It will be supported by a new socket type which is referred to as AM4. This is not a surprising name as the predecessing AMD FX series was supported by the AM3 Plus socket type. This unfortunately for some will mean a motherboard upgrade, which is the part I personally dread most about upgrading to Zen. It is said that any new AMD FX CPUs will also be supported by this new socket type. The instructions per cycle of the AMD FX series was an issue for many people who owned it. Apparently, AMD are going to be bumping up the instructions per cycle rate by about 40% in these new CPUs. Not surprisingly, the Zen series is said to support DDR4 memory, but the part that surprised me is the fact that you'll be able to support 8 channels. This means that it is allowing higher bandwidth with lower power consumption, although those are not going to be a big difference in gaming, and you'll probably not notice it at all. It is confirmed that these new CPUs will have lower power 14 nanometer FinFET silicon, whilst previously AMD were on 28 to 23 nanometer non-FinFET. This means AMD are bumping up their power efficiency exponentially. It is said that the new AMD Zen series CPUs will have 8 cores and have simultaneous multi-threading technology. This will allow it to have 16 threads, which basically means that it will act like a 16 core CPU. Not only that, but one of them is said to feature 32 physical cores, and will also allow simultaneous multi-threading, meaning that it could end up with 64 threads. To put that into perspective, the most powerful Intel Xeon CPU currently has 22 cores and 44 threads. However, there is one issue I have with this, and that is the price that these processing gods could end up costing. The fact that some of them end up beating a $3,000 CPU is very scary. It raised the question of how much they would actually cost. Personally, I'll go cheaper and purchase the 8-core 16-thread CPU, but even then it probably wouldn't be very consumer friendly in price. So one more thing before uh, I go, there will be a straw poll in the description below, and uh, anyone watching this right now, please pause the video or leave the video entirely and go vote on that straw poll, uh, and it will help me out tremendously because I'm only new to how to compute and it will help me get better as a content creator here. Uh, but anyway, this is how to compute and we will catch it all next time. So, we will see you then. Bye!